Dash to catch some guy here for another video. I uh, just opened a couple of random things today. I had those power partnership tins and they came with uh, one Evolutions, one Lost Thunder, and two Unified Minds. Um, but also had a Shining Legends Elite Trainer box that I got. I was on sale for Labor Day, so I just went ahead and picked it up. Um, all right, so we'll do those the Shining Legends last since I like that set the most. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just do these uh, Unified Minds and Lost Thunder. Uh, Lost Thunder, I don't know, I guess this set annoyed me just because I didn't have... There's so many cards in this set, and I only bought like a couple um, of the boxes, and so I really need a lot from this set. So I don't, I won't even be able to know like what cards I still need to be honest once I get to the, the stuff. Uh, all right, so it looks like Lucifer Prism Star, which I do have that. I do remember pulling it, um, and then Houndoom. I'm pretty sure I have that because it's a regular rare, and I think I do have most of the regular rares. But all right, let's see what else we can get out of this. So first up is. I'm sorry, next up is another Lost Thunder, and I got one more after this. Um, it'd be nice to at least get like a Secret Rare or a Full Art from the set, just even if I already have it, just because that way it's one less I have to get at another time. Um, so we'll see if I can pull something like that, but no high hopes or anything. All right, so Lost Blender is the reverse. Fairly certain I have that too, but who knows? I'll have to check a little later. And then non-fan, so just a regular rare. Again, we'll see if I can get anything good at least a hollow like a regular hollow um, if you don't consider the prism stuff a hollow which i mean eh, I, I guess i kind of do and they're gone now anyway they stopped printing them or they stopped making prism stars for some reason i kind of like them i wish they'd make more just because they're so unique as far as what their benefits were i kind of like that about them uh, i think i went straight to the yeah the rare all right ooh, ooh, oh no dropping cards okay so well i'm pretty sure i don't have that reverse or i don't even know if i have the regular of that um and then we also have this beautiful Nihiligo, however you say it, uh, foil. I'm pretty sure I don't have that because it doesn't look familiar, but the set is a little bit old, so you know it's very possible that I have it, just haven't seen it in a long time. But anyway, all right, on to the main set that's out right now. It's currently the newest set if you don't consider Hidden Fates. I'm like, we got a white code card, so uh, might be something in here. Um, but Hidden Fates is kind of like a special mini set, so I don't know if you really um, count that as a part of it, but. I kind of don't. I kind of consider it just its own little thing. Uh, but okay, it looks like we got something good in here. The reverse is Fracture. And the foil. All right! Full Art Mew and... Ooh, oh no, dropped it right onto the thing. But it'll stay there. <laughs> Full Art Mew and Mewtwo. Actually, I'm going to pick it back up. <clears throat> I don't know why I have such butterfingers today. It's the second card I dropped already. Uh, let me slide this off since there's nothing on there. And, um, so this card... I don't know. I haven't checked the price in this in a long time. I don't actually know if it's still... Um, like a lot. I know the secret rare is obviously because it's a secret rare. I think it was like 30 or 40 back when it was a thing. But honestly, I actually like the way this one looks better because there's color on it. Um, whereas the secret or the rainbow rare secret rare thing, I don't really like those because there's no color. I prefer the color on my cars, which is why I like the alternate art so much, just because they're almost like a secret rare, even though they're technically not. It's hard enough to pull them that it's like, well, look at that. Another rare uh, unified mind. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna laugh if it's a secret rare. Like if I actually, I'm not gonna laugh. I'm gonna scream. Um, all right. So the reverse is Dupider, and then the uh, reveal. Okay. So Velto. I'm pretty sure I don't have that though. Um, honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll open so many cards. I'm like, I don't know if I have it or not. But I'll check it even later, obviously, and see. Um, if nothing else, it's a really pretty card. I, I shouldn't even more time. All right, so regular one, this one's not nothing good. Here's the code. All right, let's see what the reverse is. Versus Victini, I'm pretty sure I have that, it looks familiar. And then the regular rare is the Honk Row. Honk Row, which I feel like is such a weird name to say. Like I feel um, whatever language is used, like a real throaty, I think it's Arabic one of them, maybe Hebrew, uh, use really throaty sounds like huh. I feel like honk row, I just have to use that throaty, I don't even know what it's called, but whatever it is, I feel like I have to use it. All right, reverse is Tynamo. Don't have that one either. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure I do have this one because there's two of them, I think, in this set. Um, and I'm pretty sure I do have it. But anyway, all right, two more. So someone call it, I'm, I don't even care if I get secret or not because I got the full art, Mew and Mewtwo, which I'm pretty sure is the most expensive full art in the set. Maybe aside from, well, if you, I don't know if you consider it the gold cards and stuff full arts but they're secret rare so i don't really yeah we're not gonna call it the same thing i think it's the most expensive full art in the set so i'm happy i pulled that didn't have to buy it later um 
and then Pikachu, pretty sure I got that reversed too, so more to the slush pile, and another honk row, or honk row, I don't know, anyway, I'm done with that. <laughs> Alright, last one, Let's see what we get, and then we're on to the Shiny Legends, which, <clears throat> aside from, actually yeah, I'm pretty sure it's my favorite, you know, Generations was my favorite set to open, and then Shining Legends was second. Oh, we got a white card, another chance for some, let's see what we get. Um, but yeah, Generations was my absolute favorite, and then... Uh, so Relicanth is the reverse and the reveal. All right, just the regular GX. Better than nothing, I'll take it. I do have it. Actually, I think I traded somebody for that, so I got it not from a pack, but just trading. So I do have it, but uh, anyway. <clears throat> so like I said, uh, Generations is my favorite set. Um, I should put these over a little bit. Generations is my favorite set. Shining Legends is my second because I do like the shining cards and like how the foil was printed on them different than on all the other cards. Um, I do appreciate stuff like that. There were secret rares in this too, and as far as my cards go, like my favorite secret rare of all time slash card of all time is the Mewtwo from Shining Legends. Secret rare Mewtwo from Shining Legends. Not the rainbow art, but the um, the other one. So we got Lily as the regular. And all right, full art Pokemon breeder. I actually just <laughs> got one of these online. Um, I mean, it's good to add another full art to the collection. It's nice and pretty. I just got one of these online in a lot because um, I don't right now as far as cards that I don't have in this set um, which I mean a full art I'll take it I'm not going to get anything else good usually you get just one good card in like an elite trainer box so that's my good card the full art which like I said it's fine I'm, I wasn't expecting anything it's just fun to open the set um, but anyway um, where was I going with that I'm going somewhere with it but anyway, uh, back to what I was saying before I got off on another tangent and started talking about something else completely. Um, Generation is my favorite. Love the Radiant Collection in there. Um, and actually, I take it back. I said Shine Legends was my second. I want to say Shine Legends is my third. And actually, I'm pretty sure this is one of the few cards I don't have um, out of here as far as the reverse goes. So happy to get that. Um, obviously, I do have this one. I have, so that's what I think I was going. I was talking about all the cards I had in there. So I have all the cards in Shining Legends except for, I'm pretty sure, that Crocodile. So now I have that. Um, the uh, right Rainbow Rare Zorark, I don't have that. And then I didn't have the Mewtwo Rainbow. Um, but I just bought a lot off of eBay that had the uh, Mewtwo Rainbow. And so... No, I have that, so I don't have to worry about pulling it from here. Another Hoopa. <laughs> Alright, so those I have already, like I said. Oh, and I think Buizel, either Buizel or Floatzel, whichever one's the first evolution. I think I think Buizel is the first evolution. I don't have that reverse either. So there's two reverses I don't have. Oh, and Mimikyu. So there's a Mimikyu reverse I don't have, the Buizel reverse I don't have, the Crocodile reverse, which I just got today, so win-win. Um, and then the Secret Rare Zorark and Mewtwo, which, like I said, I already ordered the Mewtwo, so that's coming. Um in the mail but also is that the reverse was kind of shiny couldn't tell but yep and <laughs> if i get another hoopa i'm gonna throw it in the trash like i'm done with these hoopas like i remember i was all excited when the card first came out because like oh finally a way to counter gx is real easily but i mean it's so easy to bypass that thing so for one it doesn't have that great of an attack um since it doesn't evolve from anything there's nothing like extra that can go with it it's not like i mean with the volpix it has the same attack essentially as the volpix and I'm sorry, the nine tails that had the same ability. Um, all right, looks like there's something shiny, maybe a GX coming up. Um, so the Vulpix had the same ability, but oh, look at that, full art inti. I do have that because, like I said, the only thing I don't have is the um, the one, two secrets, and then so yeah, that surprised me. I got two full arts in one uh, thing. I don't remember if I ever had done them before. But I only trainer box for China. Anyway. Um, I don't even remember where I was going. I need to stop talking in tangents because it just goes in a loop and then nobody knows what I'm talking about and I'm just rambling and you guys get annoyed and it's just it's just too much. So <laughs> I'm going to stop going off on tangents. But anyway, okay, so another Lily reverse. <laughs> oh, and I think I also needed a so Zara GX. used to be worth something. Now it's pretty much worthless because it rotated out. Um, but the Lily, not the Lily, um, I think I need an Ultra Ball reverse as well. I'm pretty sure those are the only reverses that I need. So I need four... Three now because I got the Croconaut. So I still need Boizel, Marshadow GX. I'm sorry, just Marshadow Reverse and then Ultra Ball. Um, which I'm gonna laugh if I get the Ultra Ball. It'd be nice to get it instead of two Lilies, but you know, what are you gonna do? Definitely pass that, right? So Quillfish and Raikou. Uh, see, then now if you've watched any of my other videos, you would have heard me pretty much 
uh, complain a lot about Hidden Fates and how it's the only special set to date that I know of. I mean, I don't know everything, but since I've started collecting again, which is since Steam, so Steam Siege on, uh, Hidden Fates is the first special set that doesn't guarantee a rare in every single pack, which to me, that's kind of the point behind these special sets is it's a little bit more fun to open. You can only get them in special, especially marked packages. And so it's like, oh, cool for me, you know, makes it makes life a little better. <laughs> Why do I keep getting repeats in this thing? Like, it's kind of funny. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, so it was a lot more fun to open these previous special sets because you knew for sure you were getting at least two hollows in every one. So it's like, even if you didn't get a full R, even if you didn't get a um, hyper rare or a secret rare, as long as you got the two uh, foils, you, you know, still pretty good, still a pretty good day. Now, sometimes they get old getting, you know, foil after foil that you already had, but if they just, like, it was just something like Generations where it's like everyone also has a Radiant card in each one, then that made it, well, that used to be worth a lot too, not a lot, but you know, it's more than just a common, oh, look, there we go, got another Shining card, sweet, I love these cards. Uh, I was also hoping to get one of these in this, and I did get one, so happy day. Uh, but anyway, so this is actually a really good box, by the way. I had, what, two GXs, uh, two Full Arts, and a Shining card. I don't, I honestly don't think I've ever had luck this good opening an Elite Trainer box for Shining Lands. I feel like I normally get five to six uh, regular foils, and then maybe one Full Art, and then maybe one GX. So I guess the, the real trick is you got to wait until the card's pretty much out of print and then buy them because <laughs> that i mean it, obviously it's been out for a while i got three wow three gx's that's pretty crazy um and like i said sorry to rotate it out so it's not like they're worth a lot or anything like that but you know gx is still better than nothing um so anyway thanks for watching guys i'm not gonna waste too much more of your time i gave away the codes in the uh in the video already but i'll be opening some hidden fates in a second even though i complain about the set so much just because it's so hard to pull anything good well it's not hard to pull anything good but it's it's not guaranteed in every pack and that's annoying to not know if you're getting anything in a pack so i don't know but anyway like i said thanks for watching uh i don't know when these videos are going to post just because it depends on how much time i have uh what else is going on like it bogs down my internet trying to upload them from my phone so it depends on what else is going on but anyway thanks for watching let me know what you guys think about as far as your favorite set like i said shining legends is like maybe my third legendary treasure is my second just because it also had a radiant collection and it's the only set i've ever opened where i got four hollows in one pack and there's a video of that if you don't believe me but i did actually get four hollows in one pack never seen that happen before three was the most but i got four in a, a legendary treasure set so definitely second favorite uh but anyway thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time